Clifford's birthday today. Want to help with the party? Type in your name, and we can put on a party that's just the right size for Clifford. Big. Do you want the game to be easy, medium, or hard? Pick one and then click OK. Hard. Hard. <laughs> now pick four jewels for Clifford's collar. Click on a jewel. An emerald. There's one. A diamond. That's two. Two. A bow. A sphere. A butterfly shaped jewel. The letter C. C. You've got three. Pick one. The letter C. C for Clifford. You've got. A bone sh- Oh, Clifford will like that. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Emily Elizabeth. I'm glad you're here. This is for my dog, Clifford. Today is his birthday, and I want him to have the best party ever. There's a lot to do to get ready. And boy, do I need your help. We need to... Take Clifford to the dog groomer for a haircut and a bath. Clean up the backyard for the party. Get Clifford a birthday cake. And stop by the post office to pick up a super special birthday package that Grandma sent. Oh, and we can't forget about this. This is a kit to make a birthday collar for Clifford. Huh, I wonder where Clifford is anyway. Clifford! Oh, Clifford! Where are you? He's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> here, boy! Here, Clifford! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Clifford! <laughs> now we can make your first birthday present of the day. <laughs> Let's take it outside where we'll have more room to work on it. Come on! Duels for your new collar, Clifford. Fit for a king. Woof. 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 <laughs> Some people make such a fuss over a little sneeze. We'll just need to find the four missing jewels for Clifford's new collar. Let's add it to the list. Well, we better get going. Can you carry these? My backpack will be perfect for carrying stuff. And we can use the map to get around town. So, where do you want to go first? Those are our neighbors, Horace and Violet Bleakman. Sometimes they're very grouchy, but they can be nice, too. Ooh. I'm... That's the Bleakman's floaty tube. Should we have something little to eat? Or something big? Something, something little. Yeah. Should we have something little to eat? Or something big? Something, something little. Yeah. 
The Bleakmans have a really nice pool. That's an ice chest. That sure is a big pool. The Bleakmans have a really nice pool. That's the Bleakmans floaty tube. Should we have something little? Clifford and I like walking downtown. Believe it or not, everyone seems to know him. Maybe it's because he's such a great dog. Mm. That's the post office. We need to pick up the special package that Grandma sent for Clifford's birthday. It's Ramona Diamond and her dog Ruby. Hello, Ramona. Hey, that looks like Clifford's birthday package. Well, we were expecting a package today for Ruby. All the way from Groomingdale's in the big city. And it does say to the best dog in the world. But that package also says from Grandma. Oh, that part. Well, if this isn't our package, I don't know what I'll do. We need all that fun stuff from Groomingdale's for Ruby to wear to Clifford's party. Ramona, we'll Ooh. find your package for Ruby. Oh, okay, thanks. And I'll take good care of yours until you find mine. We'll wait right here. Good. Great. Thanks. Well, Clifford, mm. looks like we need to find Ruby's package. Yes. Clifford! It's one of the missing jewels from your birthday collar! Good thing it didn't have a stamp on it. Who knows where it would have ended up. Maybe Maud has Ruby's package. Maud works at the post office. Ooh. Hi, Maud. We're looking for a package. Sorry, Emily Elizabeth. All of the packages have already been delivered or picked up today. But we're missing one. For Ramona Diamond and Ruby. Well, as I always say, the mail always gets delivered, but it doesn't always get delivered to the right place. That's the Bleakman. <laughs> hey, look what this is. A package for Ramona Diamond and her dog Ruby from Groomingdale's. The postal carrier delivered it today. It's not ours. That's okay. We'll make sure she gets it. Oh, Ramona, I have something for you. It's the package from Groomingdale's. Oh, thank goodness! Now Ruby will look spectacular for Clifford's party. Thanks for finding it. You're welcome. See you at the party. This is it, Clifford. Your super special birthday surprise from Grandma. <laughs> Clifford wants to open it, but we'll just have to wait until the party. Clifford likes to collect stuff and bury it here in the backyard. 
But since this is where we're having the party, we need to clean up. Woof! Woof! Which gives me an idea. Maybe we could make it easier for Clifford to put his stuff away. We could dig up his things and find the stuff that goes together. You know, like a ball and a bat, a girl and her dog. Okay, dig up one mound at a time. Toothpaste. Shoes. Mm, guess not. Pepper. Drum. Gosh, I don't think so. Paint can. Thread. Oops, not... Drumstick. Drum. Yes! Salt. Pepper. Woof. That's it. Comb. Toothpaste. <laughs> nope, those don't belong. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. You got it. Socks. Picture. Uh-uh, those don't. Hairbrush. Comb. Woof. Yep, they go together. Paintbrush. Thread. <laughs> mm, guess not. Paint can. Paintbrush. Yes! Picture frame. Picture. Woof. Yes! Needle. Socks. Gosh, I don't think so. Shoes. Socks. That's it. Needle. Thread. Woof. You got it. Wow, you did it. Woof. Wow, you are a cleaning whiz. Good job. Woof. If you want to dig up more of Clifford's things, just click on the shovel. We'll leave it here on the fence. And now... Da -da -da -da, it's time to decorate Clifford's doghouse. This says, Happy Birthday Clifford, from us. It's looking like a party doghouse now. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my favorite scarf! Thanks, Cliffy. You're a dream. Sometimes Clifford forgets to look both ways before crossing the street. Hey, let's go! We need to do something about this traffic jam. I need to get home. Oh, look what you found. One of the missing jewels from Clifford's birthday collar. But we can't get there with all these cars blocking the way. Hey! I'm late! All right. I'm on my way to work! This traffic is a doggone mess. Great idea. Clifford can take the cars where they need to go. Okay, so which car should Clifford help first? Hey, isn't there a leash law? <laughs> Clifford may need your help finding the way. Make sure you know where the driver needs to go. This is a map of part of our town. The person will tell you where they need to go, then click on Clifford and drive him to the right place. Thanks for the lift. I live in the house with the blue roof that's around the corner from the purple house. Thanks for the lift. I live in the house with the blue roof that's around the corner from the purple house.
thanks for the lift. I live in the house with the blue roof that's around the corner from the purple house. Gee, thanks. Now which car should Clifford help? I hope you can help me. I'm on my way to visit my friend Bob. He lives in the house with two tall trees that's opposite a yellow house. Thank you. Pushing and bringing flowers to a sick friend. She just had an operation. And bringing flowers to a sick Thanks. Great. Now... Am I glad you're helping me. I'm headed to visit my brother. His house is in the middle of a field of flowers. Thanks. Now which part? I'm going to see my aunt. She lives in a house with a diamond window and a red door. There are two tall trees on her block. I'm going to see my aunt. She lives in a house with a diamond window and a red door. There are two tall trees on her block. This is the place. Push it. I'm headed home. I live in a house right next to the pond. The flower bush outside my house is not pink. This is the place. Great. Now... I'm going home to water the garden. I live in the blue house next to the pink flower bush. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. You cleared up the traffic jam. Now the rest of the cars can get going. Woof. Good job. Woof. Clifford feels much better now that you helped him fix his mistake. Woof. Hey, if you want to help another car, just click on it. Clifford. Woo -woo. Got it. Good job. Woo. Giving balloon rides today. Woof. Clifford loves balloons. Clifford, it's one of the missing jewels from your birthday collar. Here, little froggy, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> wow, he's good. Good job. Woof. 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 I think 
Clifford is too big to fit in that balloon Ooh. basket. <laughs> Go get it, Clifford! Clifford loves to play fetch. Whoa! <laughs> oh no, Clifford picked up the wrong stick. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. It was kind of fun. <laughs> There'll be lots of balloons at your party, Clifford. <laughs> Go get it, Clifford! Clifford loves to play fetch. Home run! Hello again. I could do this all day! Go! It's fun coming here. Clifford has a lot of friends at the beach. Mmm, there's nothing Clifford and I like more than a pile of tasty fish sticks. Hi, Loretta. Hey, Emily Elizabeth. And that sweet Clifford. It looks like you could use some of Loretta's special homemade deep fried fish sticks to plump you up. Mmm, Loretta, those look great. Well, help yourself. Did I mention how much Clifford likes fish sticks? Clifford! This could be a problem. Oh no! Rocky, my baby, is not a good swimmer. What'll we do? We need to get Rocky back. He's one of Clifford's best friends. <laughs> So sorry, those don't come off of the shack. Hey, look what this is. A rope ladder. You can borrow it if you want. We have plenty of others for emergencies. Thanks, Loretta. Never know when you might need one. Those don't come off of the shack. No one is in there. <gasps> I wish I could swim out there and... We have to help Rocky, definitely. That's a rope ladder. I don't think that will help us rescue Rocky. Clifford loves this street. It's because of the market. With all that food, it's his favorite place to visit. Here's the dog grooming place. Maybe Mr. Kibble, the groomer, can give Clifford a haircut and a bath, so he'll look his birthday best. Hi, Peaches. Hi, Mr. Kibble. It's Clifford's birthday, and we were wondering... Uh, you weren't wondering if I could groom Clifford, were you? You, you see, the thing is, uh, Clifford is so, uh, so big. He, he's huge, giant, gargantuan, humongous. He's rather large. I'm taking the rest of the day off. I guess Clifford's size makes Mr. Kibble a little nervous. That's okay, Clifford. I'm sure we can convince Mr. Kibble to help you get your birthday haircut and bath. We just have to find him. Hi, Emily. Clifford! How about 125 ice cream cones? Just kidding. <laughs> so, what'll it be for the lucky owner of the birthday dog? What do you have, Sandy? Ooh, they all look so good. Go ahead and pick one. Hmm, which one should we... That looks good. A pink ice cream bar. Here you go. A 
Excellent. The market's just the place to get Clifford's birthday cake. Hello, Mr. Hamburger. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Happy birthday, Clifford! Woof! Clifford loves Mr. Hamburger. I wonder if it has anything to do with his name. Here's a treat for you! This could be a problem. Oh no, my fabulous fruit and vegetable display! I'm sorry, Mr. Hamburger. Sometimes Clifford gets a little too excited. <laughs> But I'm sure we can do something to fix this. Now, we just need to clean up the rest of this mess. And later, we'll see about Clifford's birthday cake. Ah. The, the pick rate. Let's put all the stuff back on the shelves. Okay, let's see if we can put these things back on the shelves in just the right way. Mr. Hamburger likes to have all the same kind of food together on the same shelf. Broccoli. Orange. Oranges. Grapes. Broccoli. Broccoli. Apple. 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 Cuc cucumber. Tomato. Tomato. To mate, to mate. All right, you put everything in its place. Good job. Woof. That looks great. Now we need to fix the picture that goes on top of the display. It's broken into pieces. The picture that goes on top of the display has broken into pieces. Okay, let's see if we can glue these pieces together. Oh boy, you did it! Mr. Hamburger will be happy about this. Come on. Good job. Woof. Good as new. Oh, that's perfect. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Now we can see about getting Clifford's birthday cake for the party. I'm gonna bake one especially just for Clifford. <laughs> All you have to do is pick the icing and the decorations. Woof! Oh boy, this is gonna be great! You can pick from lots and lots of decorations to make Clifford's birthday cake extra super special. You can sh
L L I I F F F F O O R R D D Looks like there's no printer hooked up right now. We can try later. Clifford's gonna love this cake. Cake is one of his favorite food groups. Good job! Now I can bake a Clifford-sized cake that looks just like the one you decorated. Oh boy, that's great. I'll bake it a little later, just before the party. And we can even decorate another cake later. We just have to let Mr. Hamburger know. Up there. Waving my arms and yelling for help. Help, help. I think he's stuck up there. Bingo. Woof. Maybe we should help him. I bet this will work. Woof. Okay, Mr. Kibble, we're ready. Oh, happy day. Here I come. Are you okay, Mr. Kibble? I'm more than okay. I'm just swell. You know, you're the doggone best. Gee, now that you're out of the tree, do you think you could give Clifford his birthday haircut and bath? I'd love to, but he is big, huge, gargantuan. There is no way he could fit in my tub. But I'll be happy to lend you my grooming kit. Uh, I'm sure you can find some place big enough to wash, Clifford. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Woo. Kibble. Woo. That's the grooming kit Mr. Kibble loaned us to give Clifford a bath and haircut. The ocean's definitely a big enough place to give you a bath, Clifford, but it's a terrible place to use doggy shampoo. <laughs> Poor Rocky. How are we going to get out there to save him? Ooh. Great idea! Clifford can swim all the way out to rescue Rocky. <laughs> Clifford is a really good swimmer. But getting hit by waves makes him tired. Swimming into seaweed makes him really tired. When Clifford is really tired, he loses all his energy, and he needs to stop and rest. Luckily, fish sticks give him energy. Help Clifford eat fish sticks and stay away from the waves and seaweed. Help him reach Rocky.
poor, poor rock. Ooh. Clifford's headed back in. Oh, thank goodness. Move Clifford side to side to catch. much. You have earned free mm. fish sticks for life, my dear. <sighs> That's my dog. Great job, Clifford. Mm. Hey, that was the last jewel we needed to find. <laughs> we can make Clifford's collar now. <laughs> Each of these jewels has Duck and that Clifford's new birthday collar is perfect. Thanks. Good job. Woof. That's mm. the sign says closed. I guess Mr. Kib. That's the grooming kit Mr. Kibble loaned us to That's the grooming kit Mr. Kibble loaned us to give Clifford a bath and haircut. That's the grooming kit. That's the grooming kit, Mr. Kibble. Should we have something little? This pool would be the perfect place to give Clifford a birthday bath. I wonder if Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman will let us use it. We should ask them. Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman, your pool is pretty big. Could we use it to give Clifford his birthday bath? Hmm, maybe. But we can't possibly think about that now. We are way too hungry. What do you want? I don't know exactly. I want something cold. Cold and pink. Cold and pink with a cherry on top. I guess we need to keep on the lookout for something cold and pink with a cherry on top. <laughs> Hello again, Emily Elizabeth. Hi, Clifford. Could you use another ice cream? I sure could, Sandy. Now, yummy! A pink sundae with a cherry on top. 
Sandy, can you put it in a freezer bag to keep it cold? Sure. Thanks. Let's put this in the backpack. Go, Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman. It's perfect. Just what we asked for. And you didn't even step on the flowers. Oh, and about the pool. Use it. We never use it. Oh, boy. We can use the pool. I can't believe my ears. Can you, Clipper? <laughs> Okay, Clifford. Bath time. Hey! We said you could get in the pool, not get the pool on us. Some people make such a fuss over a little water. Look at all this stuff we can use to groom Clifford. Wow, Clifford. You're going to look your birthday colored polka dot hair color. Green hair color. Green hair color. Blue hair color. Plaid hair color. Yellow hair color. Colored polka dot hair color. Yellow hair color. Blue hair color. Purple hair color. Soap. Scissors. Rinse water. Rinse. Rinse water. Plaid hair color. Purple hair color. Colored polka dot hair. Colored polka dot hair color. Green hair color. Blue hair color. Plaid hair color. Yellow hair color. Purple hair color. Blue hair color. Purple hair color. Rinse. Colored polka dot hair. Purple hair color. Green hair color. Blue hair color. Plaid hair color. Yellow hair. Say cheeseburgers, Clifford. Looks like there's no printer hooked up right now. We can try later. Brush. Wow, Clifford. Look at you. You are a handsome dog. Good job. I'm glad we have that picture we took of you to show off at your party. Wait a minute, Clifford. Do you know what that means? We've done everything we need to do. So... Do you know what time it is? Ooh. It's time for Clifford's birthday party! Wow, so I wonder where everybody is. <laughs> For you, Clifford, because you're the best dog ever. It's from me and our new friend. I think Clifford likes it. And he really likes you. Clifford, it's time to open your super special birthday package from Grandma.
Oh, boy! It's a super special soccer ball. Clifford loves soccer. Come on, let's play. This is going to be fun. First, pick four of Clifford's pals to be on the other. Rover. <coughs> Raffles. <coughs> Rocky. <coughs> Ruby. <coughs> We're ready to play Clifford's birthday soccer game. Okay, <coughs> beginner. Here's how it works. Move Clifford right and left to block the ball. Then click and Clifford will kick the ball. Try to keep the ball out of our goal and see if you can get it into the other goal. Ready, set, let's play. game. Do you Great soccer game. <laughs> Special delivery for my favorite big red dog. Oh boy. Now that's what I call a good looking cake. <laughs> For my favorite big red dog.
Clifford. Isn't that the cutest big red dog you've ever seen? <coughs> Do you want to keep playing the game? Okay, see ya. Come back real soon. Thank <laughs> you.